Hello everyone, welcome back to another MacBook Pro tutorial. On this one, we're inside Freeform and I want to give you a side-by-side -side comparison between the 2021 MacBook Pro, which is what I'm actually recording this on, the M1 Pro and the M1 Max chip, versus the 2023 MacBook Pro that was just announced that uses the M2 Pro and the M2 Max chip. This is a side-by-side -side comparison in terms of the specs and specs only. As you can see here, the new version let's start over here on the m2 pro and m2 max here it is 12 core cpu maximum with eight performance cores and four efficiency cores on the m2 pro and a 12 core cpu with eight performance cores and four efficiency cores with the m2 max okay very very interesting on the macbook pro the old version 2021 and it's not that old it was up to 10 cores which is this one here with eight performance cores as well and only two efficiency cores. And the M1 Pro has 10 core CPU with eight performance cores and two efficiency cores as well. So they're very, very similar. Uh, the real difference is, as far as I can tell, is there's just two more efficiency cores, but there's not more performance cores. So how that is going to weigh out in the uh, in like Geekbench scores and in, in the testing that's sure to come very, very soon, it's hard to say. Apple gave some preliminary uh, ideas that it could be up to 40% faster on the new version compared to the uh, to the 2021 version for I believe it was uh, color grading in 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 DaVinci Color and a few processing things in uh, Photoshop was 40% faster. Again, this hasn't been verified. This has just been stated. Again, we still got to see this come. That score should be in soon. And talk in terms of the GPU, this is where it really gets kind of heavy. Uh, it's now up to a 19-core GPU with the M2 Pro, which is great. It's three more than the M1 Pro, but here's the crazy part. It's now up to a 38-core GPU on the M2 Max. Now, in the older version, the 2021, it was a 16-core GPU with the M1 Pro and 32-core GPU with the M1 Max. And this one here I'm recording on is a 32-core GPU, and I'll be honest with you, this laptop really, really rolls hard. So these are the big changes. The other thing you'll notice here is that you can now get up to 96 gigabytes with the M2 Max in terms of uh, memory, where on the old one, you can, on the 2021, you can only get up to a 64 for all of you people that are big in the 3D space or if you're, um, you know, making things in Cinema 4D or something like that, this could make a, a difference to you. Uh, other small changes are Wi-Fi 6E, versus Wi-Fi 6 in the old version, Bluetooth 5.3 versus 5.0, and perhaps the bigger one is HDMI 2.1 in the MacBook Pro 2023. This is interesting because this allows you to plug in, I believe, 8K monitors, where in the 2020-2021 version, pardon me, uh, it was only going up to 4K, and also it increases the the hertz that you can get going in the uh, new one. I think it was up to 240 hertz on a 4K monitor is now supported. The last thing a lot of people, of course, will be interested in is the battery life. It's mm, a basically a one-hour jump on the 14 and a one-hour jump on the 16. So all in all, it's a decent upgrade, but if you have the 2021 version, like, like for example, I have, I don't think it justifies the price at this point, but uh, it's really nice to see Apple keep pushing the, the envelope here. I like to see them using their own silicon and going hard for it. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Are you going to upgrade? Is it worth the upgrade from the 2021 to the 2023? Let me know in the comments below. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.